We began our trip around 9 a.m. from our farmhouse Airbnb. Since it was summer, finding a parking spot was tough, but we managed to find one after some time. Snowdonia is a beautiful national park in Wales, famous for its stunning mountains and lakes. It's a popular place for hiking and enjoying nature. One of the places we visited was Cwm Idwal, which is a lovely area in Snowdonia. The hike to Cwm Idwal is moderate, meaning it's not too easy, but not too hard either. As we hiked, we were surrounded by rocky mountains that looked very majestic. The landscape was full of tall cliffs and rugged terrain. In the middle of these mountains, there's a lake called LLY in Idwal. This lake was formed in a crater, which is like a big bowl-shaped hole in the ground. A long time ago, a glacier carved out this crater, and now it's filled with clear water. We watch the ripples on the surface of the lake, which beneath is home to a sensitive collection of plants, all associated with nutrient-poor waters, also known as an oligotrophic lake. LLYN Idwal is a particularly good example of an upland oligotrophic lake and is protected internationally under the Ramsar Convention. As tempting as the waters might be, it was advised to refrain from taking a swim. With reports of invasive plant species in nearby lakes, this helps minimize the risk to the delicate ecosystem, protecting the lake for future generations. At LLYN Lake, we can choose a clockwise or anti-clockwise route around the nature reserve. We choose the anti-clockwise option. If you see collection of large fractured rocks, it is known as Darwin Idwal boulders. These rocks were originally deposited through a glacier crevice and were first noted by Charles Darwin during his field visit to Cwm Idwal in June 1842. According to history, Idwal was the son of the 12th century Prince Owain Gwynedd. Idwal was sent away to stay with his uncle, Nefid, while his father was at war. Nefid was a jealous man and, and pushed Idwal in the lake, laughing at the young man as he drowned. Owain was devastated and named the lake after his son. To this day the birds are believed to maintain their vow not to fly over the water in respect to the memory of the dead prince. Be sure to keep an eye on the birds. Do they fly over it? Many people come to Kermidwal to spend the day outdoors. They hike, take in the views, and some even bring food to have a barbecue by the lake. It's a peaceful and scenic spot, perfect for a day out in nature.